llevar a alguien. Ups. Llevar a alguien. Llevar a alguien. We're not talking about, you know, to bring somebody to a place. Well, kind of. Kind of. We're not talking about, you know, objects here. We're talking about someone, right? Alguien means someone. And alguien can be flexible. It, obviously, it can be changed to something else. It could be changed to, you know, names, uh, relatives, friends, and whatnot. So, llevar a alguien means... To take someone somewhere, okay? So you're just taking someone to a place, to a place. It could be taking someone to school, taking someone to the airport, taking someone to work, and so on. But uh, it's interesting. It's interesting right here because uh, we're, again, using the verb llevar, llevar, llevar. Okay, so for example, I can say, Yo te llevo al aeropuerto. Yo te llevo al aeropuerto. Aeropuerto. Ah, it's a tricky, that's a tricky word to pronounce, definitely. This means I'll take you to the airport. Ooh, you're taking someone to the airport. That's a common thing, for sure. For sure. If you like to travel or if you have friends uh, who, you know, like to travel, then uh, you're going you're gonna to hear this a lot. Um, yo, we don't need yo. You can just say te llevo, okay? Te llevo. Uh, by the way, this phrase just by itself, it's like you're saying, I'll take you. So if you're you're already talking about something, you know, oh my God, I gotta go to work, yada yada yada, and you want to take the person to work, you can say yo te llevo or te llevo, te llevo, and that means I'll take you. Okay, so that's an important little phrase that you can use in Spanish. Uh, yo te llevo, I'll take you. Al, remember al, is the mix of <laughs> Of two words, a el, and that means to the, and uh, it becomes al. Remember, you don't. We don't have it in Spanish a el. We have al, al, and that means to the. Okay. Aeropuerto, aeropuerto, aeropuerto. Sorry, <laughs> aeropuerto. That means airport. Okay. Airport. So that is uh, an interesting, <laughs> interesting phrase, common phrase in Spanish. And yeah, that, that we use llevar a. So remember, we have llevar right here. Let me just uh, erase this really quickly. We have llevar here. It's conjugated, of course, yo te llevo. Okay, so this is conjugated for this pronoun. Yo llevo, okay? I take. Technically, you're saying that, but when, we're, when you're saying te, that's a pronoun that means you, yo te llevo, okay? I know pronouns in Spanish can be uh, a little tricky, uh, but technically, when you're saying yo te llevo, I'll take you, as I said before. Uh, this is in, by the way, this conjugation here is in present tense. When talking about, uh, you know, in this situation to take someone somewhere, you don't use the future tense. You, you, will, <laughs> you will have to use the present tense. Yo te llevo, okay? You can say yo te llevaré, right? That's the future tense. But, you know, if it's a quick ride, if you got to go now to the airport, 
you can say yo te llevo I, I, I can take you right now it's like saying that if you're saying I'll take you to the airport tomorrow you can also say yo te llevo al aeropuerto mañana so that will be tomorrow so one sec sorry sorry <laughs> I just gotta fix that and that's not the spelling of mañana Maña. No, mañana mañana yo te llevo al aeropuerto mañana technically you're saying I'm taking you to the airport tomorrow you're not saying I'll take you to the airport tomorrow because uh, future tense it will be like this let me show you yo te llevaré llevaré okay and yo te llevaré al aeropuerto mañana um, technically right but not commonly said <laughs> you know so if you say yo te llevo al aeropuerto mañana it's like saying I can take you to the airport tomorrow you know it's similar to saying that uh, so we don't need future tense uh, mañana means tomorrow by the way tomorrow I'll take you to the airport tomorrow yo te llevo al aeropuerto mañana you're just saying I don't mind taking you to the airport tomorrow <laughs> okay so just remember that we don't need future tense we need present tense um, in this kind of situation when using this term okay so now the next example and last last example using llevar a alguien by the way we changed alguien to you know you in this sentence uh, so alguien you can change it technically yeah I mean it's very likely that you will have to change alguien unless you're saying someone in Spanish okay so the last example guys is puedes llevarme a la casa de Miguel puedes llevarme a la casa de Miguel so this is a question as you can see and this means can you take me to Miguel's house okay so this is a question definitely a question <laughs> puedes puedes is an informal way to say can you okay if you want to make it formal remember you it's very likely or a good idea that you need to be formal with people who you do not know too well so you can say puede that's formal puede llevarme a la casa de Miguel puede means can you but it's formal and polite okay this one is informal and it's used among people you know well okay puedes can you llevarme okay we are adding the pronoun me which means me llevarme so we have the verb llevar take okay can you take me puedes llevarme and that by itself means can you take me you know can you take me to a place okay what place a we have llevar a remember llevar a don't forget that li this little this little letter here llevarme a so you add the destination la casa okay so a means to la casa de miguel means miguel's house okay so this is a very interesting thing in spanish la casa de when you say when you use de in Spanish you have a noun and then de and then you have a name it can be a pronoun um, that means you know uh, this this noun belongs to in this case Miguel a la casa de Miguel Miguel's house el libro de Miguel Miguel's book um, las cosas de Miguel Miguel's things you know <laughs> that's technically what you're saying so it's a possessive kind of 
uh, word when you have that structure. Uh, like, for example, casa, noun, de, and then a name, a pronoun, then that is possessive. This, in this case, it's Miguel's house, okay? La casa de Miguel, Miguel's house. Very interesting, very interesting indeed. <laughs> okay, llevar a alguien, remember, means to take someone somewhere, somewhere. So, we changed alguien in this situation, right here, with you, and right here, Miguel, okay? That alguien is Miguel. Alguien here is you. <laughs> so remember that. 